Hi everyone, uh, back again, and I know on the last video I did say something like, hey, I didn't want to spend all my time showing you the posing. However, I feel like posing tends to be a very valuable part of what it is that I do um, when I'm creating these images. So I'm going to kind of backpedal on that and I'm going to show you in this video a very quick um, rendition. I say quick. It's not going to be quick, but I am going to speed it up in post-processing of the video so that it doesn't take uh, an incredibly long time to watch. You can watch me pose um, high speed, <laughs> basically. I just thought it'd be interesting for people to really see like where I take it to. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna speed it up and you can watch as I go. Um, I do want to take note that um, if you remember me showing you in the video, uh, the previous video, about saving out poses. So this video is taking place um, the next day after. The, the last video was the previous night, so I did have to close everything out, um, load things up. I don't have the actual pose that I started creating loaded up right now, and I wanted you to see how that works. So if you open up your poser um, window, you hit start posing, it's going to do the freezing of the character, of course, like we had seen in the last video. But if you hit this little menu right here that's next to the save button, I'm going to click that. It's going to open up all of those saved poses that we talked about before. You'll see my In Silico Stand 2 is sitting here. You click that, and then if you hit this up button, it'll tell you it loads the currently selected pose and apply all bone rotations saved in it. So we're going to go ahead and click that. It's loaded. I'll probably want to go ahead and retype the name because it won't load the name. And two, that way as I'm making changes, I can save it. I'm gonna hit save real quick as well. So that is, and I can click that menu to close that back down. That is a quick way to load anything that you've already saved. So now you can see the pose um, from what I was working on on the last video from last night. And I'm going to go ahead and move through this as quickly as I possibly can. Um, and it's gonna speed up for you.
Okay, so I think this is probably where I'm going to stop on the posing. I will say that um, generally speaking, as I start getting into the shooting portion of what I'm doing, there are many instances where I'll see a detail that either I missed um, or something that as I start changing the camera angle, trying to find that happy place, maybe I didn't really like how that joint looked or something just looked a bit unnatural. Um, it's good too to have reference images whenever you're posing that you can have up maybe uh, some kind of snapshot out of a movie or a magazine. Um, if you're looking for modeling, it's easy enough to Google model poses and find things that you like and then bringing that up as you're posing you can make the window smaller um, so that you get a good side by side or if you have the ability to res down in world you can upload an image into the space and then just have it next to your character while you're creating the posing um, whatever works best for you if you want to use reference uh, images but I try to go off of uh, look and feel um, more on the fly. Generally when I'm at a sim that's not mine or not a friend's, um, yeah, they might not really appreciate me sticking around doing this for too long. So it really just depends on the situation. Uh, but anyhow, I'm going to end the posing video here, uh, hopefully with everything being sped up, it went a lot quicker.